The thunder started slowly against the Tigers at Claremont Showgrounds on Saturday and were unable to recover from the six goal deficit they faced at quarter time. Peel trailed for the whole game, giving away a hefty 26 free kicks compared to the miserly seven conceded by Claremont. Matt DeBoer was best on ground for Peel, collecting a team high 27 possessions and 10 tackles in his first outing with the Alliance Club this season. Uh, probably starts inside in the midfield with us. Obviously, we, you know, we can give the forwards supply and we probably didn't do that enough. And then uh, they were able to maintain possession and kick around on us and we weren't able to get it off them. And the limited times that we did, uh, we weren't able to maintain possession ourselves. The Thunder lined up tall again this week with the three 200 plus centimetre incumbent Freeman and Ruckman sharing the duties. Combining together all over the ground, kicking goals and taking contested marks in defence. The midfielders took advantage of the solid ruck presence, with Crozier, Weller and Ballard having outstanding games. Ballard again showcased his ability to utilise his size and strength to win the ball in tightly contested passages of play. I really liked um, Jacob Ballard in the midfield. You know, he's one of our up and coming guys and you know he works really hard, you know, down at training, you know, every session, so it's good to see him out in the game day and really try to win those contested ball and, and feeding the outside. Ethan Hughes had his best outing for the season to date, with 23 disposals and three inside 50s. He was strong in defence as well as providing much needed run off half back. The Thunder begin a stretch of three home games in a row against the Falcons next Saturday, as the race to finish in the top five begins to heat up. Yeah, it's a tough one. We, you know, we know we've got to move on pretty quickly. You know, we just started doing our ice baths then, and preparation for next week starts pretty quickly. So we'll review the game. You know, we won't just sweep it under the carpet or anything like that. So as a leadership group. The, re the review will be pretty strong, pretty solid. We'll break it down and, and analyse some areas of improvement and then train really well and go from there.